I'm Wendy Hudson with the City of Santa Maria Recreation and Parks Department and this is Evelyn, our rec leader. Today we're going to be creating a welcome sign. Normally we would be doing a make and take project but because of the COVID pandemic we're going to be doing a take and make project. I hope you enjoy. Alrighty, so if you can see, we have all of our supplies for our make and take project. It's gonna consist of what's in this bag, a stencil, and a wooden plaque. Now, and then we're gonna go to six pieces of ribbon. You're gonna get two paintbrushes, stippler, and your regular paintbrush. You're gonna have three greeneries. You're gonna have six pieces of pipe cleaner, and then your two uh, choices of your paint. Okay, so we are gonna start with our wooden plaque. I have painted it uh, half ways to show you what it looks like. You do wanna have some um, wood peeking through for your texture. So we're gonna grab our brush. We're gonna put it in our white paint, but you're barely going to put any paint on it, and it's called the dry method. And what, you, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna paint from left to right or right to left, but make sure to make all the way through because you don't want to stop in the middle because you will get some lines through there, okay? So we are going to paint like that. And you're not going to get paint all the way through each time and that's okay. And you're going to want to dab it off each time, okay? Back and forth, so smooth. And you're going to want to make sure to get the outer corners what I like to do is dab to get paint and then brush it through, okay? And even in these little corners. And depending on what side you wanna do, you can go left to have your lines go straight down or straight across, okay? We do have two loops. And at the end, you get to uh, take it off whatever side you choose to take. All right, and you do have the option. It looks a little bit cleaner if you paint the back, all of it, because when you hang it up, you will see some of the back and you don't want to have that little uh, paint sticking through. So it's nice to have it all one painted, one color, all right? Or how many colors you want to choose. Okay, so while that's drying, you have time to make your bows. You have six strips of different fabrics and then you have six pipe cleaners. And what you're gonna do, the end result is gonna look like this, okay? So you're basically gonna have a little handle on the pipe cleaner where you can hold them all, okay? So you're gonna grab your piece of fabric, you're gonna fold it into thirds, okay? So what you're gonna, it's gonna end up looking like this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna scrunch it together, grab your pipe cleaner, cleaner and you're gonna wrap it around. And you're gonna do like, like this. And then you're gonna make sure to have the pipe cleaner in the back, all right? And then once all six are done, your bow is going to look like this, okay? And if you could see, I have all the pipe cleaners on the bottom, so it's a real good sturdy hold for your bow, okay? Okay, so now that I have all my bows ready to go, you're going to have the pipe cleaner down and you're gonna make sure to alternate your ribbon, okay? So like this and like that. So it's even. And then once you have all the bows together, that's when you can fluff them up and make sure um, that they're all fluffed up. Okay, so alternating the ribbons you should have a strong grip on the pipe cleaners and then you're just going to twist it okay and remind you it doesn't have to be perfect right now because we're going to glue them when we put it together so it should look like this okay all right now that we're finished with our bow our wooden plaque should be dry Okay. All right, so what you're gonna be getting in your kit is a stencil like this, okay? But for this video, we are gonna be using a plastic one because it's a little bit easier. And then it's up to your creative 
imagination to use whatever letters or wording you want. So just because this has a whole design doesn't mean that you have to use it all. So if you want to just use a thousand times enough or depending on what your stencil says, you can use that. All right. So what you're going to do, if you don't want to use your whole stencil, I'm just going to use the welcome sign. So what we're going to do is put tape on the sides, okay? And it will help stick to the plaque. Also, it helps not um, getting paint on the wooden plaque. So I'm going to adjust where I feel like it should go. I'm going to choose the middle. Alrighty. And it should look like that. And it should hold on the plaque, okay? All right, now you're gonna get your stippler, your little brush, and you're just going to dab the black paint or white paint, whatever you choose, just on the corner of the brush. And then once you do that, you're gonna dab it and drag it, okay? Because you don't want that much paint on it. And then we'll begin dabbing. Now, just lightly presses down. You don't want to put that much paint on it. And once your dr brush is dry, you want to dab it in the paint that you dabbed already, okay? And light presses through out. Okay, see how lightly I'm doing it? You don't want to do it too dark because the paint will seep through. So once again, dab it. Don't want to have a clump of paint. All right, and so you want to make sure that um, if you want, you can press down on the stencil so the paint doesn't seep through the lines, okay? All right, so this is what it's going to look like. Okay, not that much black, but texture. All right. So now when we lift up our stencil, you don't want to just drag it out, okay? What you want to do is lift up and slow okay just lift it up just like that and then voila all right so we do have a plaque and reminding you you guys can use whatever colors you want but we provide the black and white and we did a little gray on this so we mixed both colors together and so now our greenery so i recommend you put two greeneries on one side and then the other on the other side, okay? And just reminding you that our bow is pretty big, so you don't wanna put your greenery all together, okay? So if you want, you can press the leaves up to the top. Okay, they're really easy, just like that. So what you're gonna do is gonna get your bow and you're gonna try to gauge how you're gonna have your greenery. Okay, so if you know your bow is going to be right here, try to see what looks good with your greenery. Okay, you can go up, down, whatever you want. Have fun. All right, now that I know where I want my greenery to be, I'm going to grab my hot glue gun and I'm going to glue it down. And make sure to be very careful while you're using your hot glue gun because you can get burnt and we don't want that. So be very careful, okay? All right, and make sure to hold it down in place so the glue can hold. All right, once that is ready, you're gonna grab your bow, like this, flip it upside down, and then you're gonna put glue all around it, and then we're gonna put the pipe cleaners down, okay? So don't be shy with your glue. Tuck this under like this. 
Be careful, it is hot. And then you're just going to stick, let's add a little bit more. All right, and you're going to stick it down. And while you're sticking it down, you're going to press. And be careful, the glue can seep out. All right, now that we have our bow attached, you're going to get the loops and you're going to fluff them out and the tails of the bow, okay? And like I said, you want to have it alternating colors. I prefer it that way. And you just want to lift all the little loops around, okay? All right. And our tails of our bows, see they are going to look a little ragged. That's where you can get your scissors. And I prefer diagonal wise, okay? I'm just gonna snip it like that. Once you have your bow all done, if you have any spots that are going showing like this, you can grab your bow and you can just put it and move it around, okay? And like that. And if you have some spots that you want to glue down to the board, you can. So you can go like that. Just so it sticks. Okay. Alrighty. Thanks again. My name is Evelyn. I'm a rec leader from the city of Santa Maria Recreation and Parks. Have a good day.